<laughs> Good morning, my fellow pirates and privateers. Here we are in beautiful Deltaville, Virginia, on this very chilly, chilly Sunday morning. We're uh, here today on a mission. Jessica's here with me, of course. Uh, what are we doing here today? Well, we're going to go take a look at a Tartan 37. Yes, we are. I uh, figure we'd show you guys around. Not that a lot of folks haven't seen Tartan 37s, but we wanted to get a good shot of this one. Is well, I'm kind of interested in it. But there are three tartans in the Deltaville area for sale, so we figured we'd take a look. Um, well, come along for the adventure. It should be fun. All right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Patriot 1977 37 foot tartan and some weeping in the keel It's kind of nice. Oh, all the sauce back the front. It's got a nice wide walkway here. A hell of a soft spot in the bow. Hell of a soft spot right here. Oh yeah, I can see it moving. Hell of a soft spot. Let me shoot from the corner. There you make it does look good though. On the boat. <laughs> Moving forward, Furlex roller furling system. Lines need to be replaced. Got a uh, pretty good soft spot right here by the windlass. It's the only soft spot I've found so far. Steering rigger was replaced in 2005. This looks to be in excellent shape. No soft spots in the deck top that I found so far, anyway. I like how wide these walkways are, though. I feel like I'm going to fall over. Is that the Tartan's got a nice wide cockpit? You know, Lumar self tailors. Yeah, this cockpit is pretty big. It is, isn't it? Pretty good. Big Bray Marine, that autopilot. Nice. 
not terribly old. Remarine RL70C. Nice Richie compass. Westerbeek, uh, according to the documentation, it's a Westerbeek 40. They are, according to the meter, 213, oh, I'm sorry, that's 2,130 some odd hours. SC4000 Auto Helm, uh, automatic windlass, or well, powered windlass from the rear. All right, Jessica, open her up. Let her go first into the cabin. Teak does need to be redone. Running rigging looks a little worn. There's Lazy Jacks. A little bit of a musty smell, but not too terrible. Typical quarter berth. A 700 watt converter. Pretty nav station. Mm -hmm. Good storage. Tartans are known for their storage. Typical Tartan Galley. It actually feels bigger in here mm -hmm. than I thought it would. I know. Eperb. Fridge and freezer. Three burner. Just kind of dirty, but wiring needs some loving. It actually feels bigger in here than I thought it would. Herb. Freezer freezer. Radio and speakers in here. Cabin sold didn't look too bad. Cabin sold. Cabin sold didn't look too bad. Hmm. I retract my earlier statement. Cabin sold up forward does look pretty rough. Actually, it's just a piece of laminate over top. I keep the duck in this boat. I have plenty. I'm five eleven. So, you can see I've got a good three inches above my head. V-Birth. Okay. Nice and clean. Let's see if we can climb up to the anchor wheelers. Chain, quite a bit of rope, and quite a bit of peeling paint. Soft spot I feel is up there. 
right in this general area right here. So. Shelving, a little bit of shelving over here. Oh, that doesn't want to open. And these are these are a little stuck. A little stuck. But I like this. Hold this open, please. This is a soft spot, I feel, isn't it? A little hanging locker in there. The wood up in the fevers. Nice and clean. We got some water damage here and here. have eyes and glass and uh, like a full cabin enclosure. What are you looking at? Uh, the tag on the sale. <laughs> Looks like these sales were made locally in Ullman just up the street. So they came from Ullman, they're good sales. I just had no idea what condition they're in. This is the roller. This is the jib. Of course, obviously I can't see anything with this being this in the bag, but from what I can see of it, it will look terrible. It might be a little brittle. Yeah, this is all the cabin enclosure stuff. Seacox down in the locker here. Okay, looks pretty good. I think all this wood looks pretty solid to me, yeah, it right? Does. This cabin sole down here is a a bit wrecked. But it's from 1977, so <clears throat> I mean what can you really expect? The only thing that's really got me worried so far is that soft spot up in the V bar up in the bow. That's exactly where I expected to find a soft spot. I expected to find a soft spot around the windlass or around where the chain pet comes back into the deck, back into the locker. I expected to find it there. So it could have been a heck of a lot worse. It's the only one I've found so far. So I'll take it. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. It could have been a lot worse. And these are the electronics, the through holes. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. But... I've seen a whole lot worse. Um, does look like it has factory air. It do, it do. It has factory air. That's good. That's a pretty nice feature. Head. Yes, I got the head. You got the head. figured out how to open these now. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna tell her how to open it. She'll figure it out. I did figure it out after watching him, but that's okay. I learned pretty quick. Just, 
I think Gally's small, but I oh see this one does have like what you were talking about with the, the handholds. Hand yeah, these boats were made to cross oceans. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to soft spot number two. Yeah, okay. The headliner piece would have to come down. And the pending. Yeah, you got D lamp in there too. And some D lamp. Not what I wanted to see. Oh. There's paper towels. I don't know if you can see the water that just dripped down, but it oh, did. It didn't drip. It poured. Means you got you got deck penetration. That water leakage here, which means you're gonna have a soft spot on top. Oh, look back over there. That water intrusion there. Oh yeah. That water intrusion. That's very here. visible. wood stove. Oh. Isn't that cool? That is a cool feature. Of course that means that you have to keep wood on board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could sit here. Oh, this is a nice a nice comfy spot right here. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of oil in the, in the pan. God knows the last time this thing was started. Like I said, it's a Westerbeek 40. You can tell the fuel line's been redone recently. They look pretty good. They don't have those clamps on them, but it's just me. Deltaville, we uh, checked out the Tartan 37, went and looked at some other boats in the Deltaville boat yard. Stopped at this little place behind us called the Galley. This place has awesome seafood. Um, she got fish and chips. Yeah, I got fried shrimp and fries. Can't go wrong with shrimp and fries. Nope. Right? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, if you're ever in Deltaville, go check this place out. It's small, it's perfect, the food's awesome, and uh, pe people are awful. Awful, awful nice too. Yeah, they were they were very friendly. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff coming up too. We got two other tartans we're going to go look at. Uh, at least I'm hoping to get to go look at them. And then of course we're going to bounce around and hit a couple other marinas too. Everything is the lead up. Um, probably going to launch end of April, first week of May, and that'll be a two day sail. We're gonna push it, and of course, this is the O day, so we're gonna push it and uh, just sail it nonstop from Prince George all the way to Kilmarnock back to her summer berth. So Jessica's gonna come along. We'll bring the tiny blonde as well, and let this crazy adventure begin. So, all right, guys, thank you for tuning in again. Have a great day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right. Bye. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Down in the description, I've posted the contact information for Norton Yachts. They are the brokers for this boat. Uh, we really appreciate you guys subscribing and liking, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. See you.